In our previous video, we have seen out how to log in into our application using auth service. Now let's understand a few more things here. Suppose if I'm not entering any username or password in our application, if I click on login, it is still navigating to this page and it is showing us welcome prince here. This is wrong, right? We have to validate this application. There are currently no validations for this application to indicate that username and password are required fields and it's mandatory for us to enter proper fields and click on login button, right? So let's do that now. Currently what is happening is without without any kind of credentials or anything, it's completely navigating inside after click on login. So let's switch to Visual Studio Code and let's add some validations for this login form. Okay, so now if you observe here, inside our login.component.html, currently we don't have any validations over here. So let's add few validations here. So inside our form, okay, for this input, that is username as well as password, let's add required field, okay, because required is one thing which indicates for this input element that the particular username that is a field which we are going to enter in the input box has to be entered at any cost in order to move forward that is in order to log in into the application so instead of directly providing required for this and indicating as no valid which is which is usually used after angular 2 that is previously what is going to happen is there were some predefined validations which used to be displayed on our application whenever we are going to provide required okay now we don't want it because it's already we have crossed the angular we are using currently angular 9 so let's indicate that by making use of no validate over here okay so no validate and i want to define required inside our input okay so for this username as well as this password i want to indicate these fields are required fields in order to log into the application so to do that let's do in little bit complicated way where that based on some condition we are going to make it required field okay by making use of ngif so what we are going to do is let's emphasize by making use of em okay and we are going to define a condition over here using ng if what is the condition over here what we want to define by making use of login form login form dot controls dot username okay and i want to use safe navigation operator over here because username and password what we are going to enter we should make use of the safe navigation operator to so that we will be in a safer side if you observe in my previous videos i have clearly explained about the safe navigation operator you can go through that once if you have forgot about this concept okay currently i am going to skip about it and i'll continue if this field is invalid see whatever the username which we are going to provide in that input box if it is invalid and and I am going to define another condition over here that is login form <coughs> dot controls dot username login form dot controls dot username touched. What is the use of this touched? This touched indicates that that username. We have already tried to provide the username in the input box. See what happens if I'm not providing this touched condition, what will happen is for the first time when I'm going to open the login page itself, the validation is going to be displayed. That is wrong, right? Because the user has to be prompted with entering username and password only in case he tries to log in, right? Before trying to log in, it's, it's not necessary. We have to display the validation message. That's the reason we are going to define this condition as touched okay if we are meeting with these two conditions okay we are meeting these two conditions then what will happen in this case okay here i am going to specify required okay required 
you not use currently these braces okay so i have defined using this emphasis a particular condition in such a way that if the username is invalid and if the username is touched then this required has to be validation message has to be displayed okay and for this em i want to display with some styling because just displaying required won't look good in our form right let's display that emphasis element with some styling let's define that inside our login.component.ts so inside our login.component.ts what we are going to do let's specify styles over here okay styles so how our validation message has to be displayed it has to be displayed by making use of this em okay this is the element which we are using over there right login.component.html this em so for that em i'm going to specify as float right i want to display required at right end of this input box so right and color i want to display in orange and some padding i want to display some padding with padding hyphen left around 10 pixels okay okay here is square brace which i have missed out okay that's it now you can see i have defined styles over here in such a way that for this element if it is invalid and if it is touched this required will be displayed required validation message will be displayed with orange color while floating to the right okay to the right of this application for example if you see username here this is the input box validation message has to be displayed here required okay let's see that later now okay same way whatever we have displayed this validation message similarly i want to display for password as well because a similar validation i want to display for password because only entering username and click on login should not log in the user into the application right both username and password are required fields so similarly what i'm going to do same way i'm going to copy this okay and i'm going to put same way for password and here i am going to change this username to password password if the password is invalid and password here password touched okay so this is the validation which we are going to display over here now if i save these changes and if i observe our application i'll just reload this once just in case i'll just compile once more using npm space start so our application is getting compiled it got compiled successfully hosted on localhost colon 4200 now if i open this if i go to login not entering anything click on login what is happening it's still logging in why because i have not specified anything yet i have just specified the html and i have not specified any proper conditions to such that it should validate to go inside right that we will provide now okay so what we are going to do inside our application we have specified these two now next step is few, there are few more things which we have to do we have specified as required now i want to also specify in such a way that this condition that this required has to be displayed whenever by making use of the condition of mouse hover whenever i mouse hover to login button what should happen and whenever i move out of mouse hover out of the login button what should happen we'll specify that condition as well here okay to specify that what we are going to do let's wrap this insert braces okay and here i am going to specify another condition that is mouse over mouse over login okay now you can see here what what are the conditions which we have provided login form dot controls dot username dot invalid one thing is invalid okay this we are actually checking over here okay 
and the next condition here is login form dot controls dot username dot touched if it is touched and mouse over login these three are the conditions which we are seeing here okay and we have wrap we are wrapping all these conditions in such a way that when these two conditions are met and if the mouse over login this whatever the condition which we are going to specify over here is satisfied then only this required validation message has to be displayed fine now what we are going to do next is for this mouse over login okay we have to define for that particular button so when that button which button here in this case is submit button for this login right this login button whatever the type we have specified is submit so for this login button we have to make use of this mouse over login condition okay so similarly how how we have provided here for username similarly we'll provide for password as well okay so if it's invalid and password dot touched okay we'll specify another condition that is mouse over login okay these three conditions we have specified over here and we'll wrap this is in braces okay and we'll close it by using double quote so these are the conditions now for these conditions i want to use these conditions based on true or false for that particular property i'll specify a property inside login.component.ts and based on that property whenever it is becoming true particular operation has to be condition becomes true and particular operation has to be successful if it is false then the particular operation should not be successful so that condition we will define now okay we have specified for username as well as password now what we are going to do next is we will create a span for this button for the submit that is submit that is login button we will create a span and specify that particular condition over here what is that condition mouse enter okay then what will happen in this case if mouse enter then what should happen mouse over login should become true okay i'll explain this later first let me specify everything then mouse leave okay mouse leave what should happen mouse over login should become false <clears throat> okay so these two conditions i'll explain now let's put this span that let's lap, wrap that for this button okay here is the span okay. that's it now for this mouse over login we have to define a property inside login.component.ts whatever we have created the conditions over here based on that we have to specify inside login.component.ts so let's create the property over here that is mouse over login okay. and we are making use of this property inside our html right so now if you observe <coughs> what is actually happening over here this mouse over login property mouse over login property will become true when the mouse enters whenever we enter the mouse then what should happen mouse or login should become true and when this mouse or login will become true where it will go it will it is used here right mouse or login i'll just explain this by making use of the application itself that is much better so i'll just uh, recompile once npm okay, start i'll explain this by making use of the application itself it will be more clear whatever the conditions we have specified so far for the validations so it's building modules got compiled successfully let's open this link let's go to login now if you observe here this is the first time i'm visiting okay if i mouse over login no nothing is happening but once i have touched this and i have entered something else then what will happen whenever i mouse over here what should happen it should display the proper message now it is not displaying what is the problem over here let's see now okay again sorry user slash login so let's see what is the problem over here now if you closely observe over here what we have not specified one important thing if you observe yes required we have specified over here this is the label of it right inside emphasis this element we have specified as required 
but where is the actual required validation which we have to specify that we have missed it right if you observe for this input element that is input username text box for this we have not specified validation as required we have just specified the label as required when this label has to be displayed when this username is not entered right so we have to specify here after this name attribute we have to specify as required okay and similarly for password as well we have to specify as required this is how the angler will come to know that okay this is a required field and particular validation message has to be displayed whenever we have not entering proper username that is invalid case or if it is touched and if it is still like we are clicking on login that's what the condition we have specified here right so this is how we are indicating okay that is one thing other thing which i want to do here is for this button type equals submit i'll validate in another way how we can validate is we will disable the login button okay this button if you observe button type equals submit this button has to be disabled if the login form is invalid whatever the credentials or whatever the form which we are filling here if it is invalid automatically this button has to be disabled why because if it is not disabled and if i'm clicking on this login button it's still logging into the application right so i want to avoid that and i want to prevent user from logging in into the application so do that what we are going to do is we will use disabled in which case it has to be disabled when login form is invalid okay login form dot invalid this is what the condition which we are going to specify here if the login form is invalid this particular button has to be disabled state correct okay let's save these changes okay we have saved all these changes let's compile by using npm space start command it will indirectly call ng so internally so it's getting compiled got compiled successfully now if i open the application localhost colon 4200 if i click on login now you can observe over here required message validation message is getting displayed and here also i have touched it so required validation message is getting displayed because this form is invalid that condition is met right whatever the condition we have defined over here if it is invalid and if it is touched okay then this required validation message has to be displayed and mouse over login right or mouse over login we have specified or or mouse over login means this mouse over login will become true when mouse enter right so based on this button now if you observe we have not entered username and password and this is invalid right this form we have not filled it and these are mandatory fields so what should happen in this case we have disabled the login button that is login form dot invalid which one this button right what is that button that is login button so now if you observe here the, along with these validation messages we are disabling this login button so that we cannot log in into the application until we fill in username and pro password proper username and password then only this login button will be, will be enabled and we can click on it okay so we have seen that now what is the other condition which we are saving see now suppose i am giving some value over here and this is a required field okay now if i hover here see if i remove here and if i hover here see let me come from first okay i'll go to slash user slash login i'll just refresh this now if i just hover over here if you observe you can see very clearly whenever i am entering this login button mouse overing this login button immediately validation messages are getting displayed over here that is required validation messages so this is indicating user that these two are required fields and you have not entered it and until you enter it you cannot log in so if i hover out of this this cursor out of this login button the required fields are disappeared required validation messages are disappeared because we are not still trying to log in right so if we are trying to log in we are displaying the validation message if i am not trying to log in it is not getting displayed and same thing will not happen with cancel button we have not specified any condition for cancel button okay that is what the condition we are 
specifying over here that is mouse enter mouse over login will become true and this condition we are making use over here to display the required validation message whenever it becomes true this required validation message will be displayed over here for this particular username as well as the password input boxes this is how conditionally we are providing validation validation messages to the user so that he can authenticate successfully on entering proper username and password and clicking on this login button so until he enters proper username and password this login will not be enabled it will be in disabled state that's what we have specified over here disabled when login form dot invalid okay that's it these are the validation messages which we are making use of so that user can authenticate properly into the application using the login form thank you so much for watching this video guys please like comment and share this video and kindly subscribe to my channel in order to watch more videos